Welcome to Forensic and Criminal Investigation at City College. My name is Kelly. I'm the course leader and the tutor for this course. So this program is a level three program where you will study across two years. Year one, you will study six units. It's a highly practical and scientific year of the course. There are two exams. Your first exam will be a short and long answer paper question where you'll answer questions based on chemistry, biology and physics. And the second exam is where you get to put all of your knowledge into sort of practice. So you will carry out a practical, and then after that, once you've got your results, you will answer questions based upon that. Other units in year one, so there's four coursework units, you will study about the human body, um, so that could be um, studying human remains um, and other systems within the body. You will also look at um, collecting crime scene evidence, bringing it back to the lab and being able to analyse it. And we also study fire investigation. In the second year, you will move a little bit more away from the science and you will start to look at more of the applied sciences. So you will study a unit on criminology and one on forensic psychology. Those are exam units. They are long answer question papers where you'll be given scenarios to base your answers on. And then this year, you've got an additional unit, so you will do five coursework units. The units are forensic anthropology, microbiology, genetics, and forensic photography. So you'll get to go out and put on a mock crime scene and photograph it. So at the moment we stood in the lab where you will carry out most of your practical work. Um, we have lots of different equipment that you would be able to analyse all the evidence that you will collect from your mock crime scene. Those will be carried out in different areas of the college, but they will be quite interesting. So for example, we would look at doing one in the college basement. We also do some of our work outside Last year, we buried different parts of a pig around the college to study um, levels of decomposition. So my background itself, I've worked in forensic anthropology, although I do have training in other areas of forensics. So I can bring to you a mixture of different specialisms that you may wish to go into, whether that be blood spatter analysis, DNA, analysing human remains, toxicology, where you look at different chemicals and poisons, um, or it could be that you want to go and work into the police force. So this course can take you many routes. If you want to go off to university, there are many courses that you can choose from. Um, previous students have gone off to look at law-based courses or human rights, and also courses where they train further in crime scene investigation. But of course, you don't have to go to university from this course. You can look at joining the police force as a graduate. Um, there are apprenticeships as crime scene investigators, and there are also degree apprenticeships in things like explosives and ammunitions for different government agencies. Trips that we've got planned for the up and coming year, we are looking at going to body worlds where you can look at some anatomical models. They are real specimens. Um, it gives us an idea about disease. Um, we also take several trips to the courtrooms, so you can look at the whole court process, um, which is a good way to apply your knowledge from crime scene all the way up to the courtroom. Another part of the course, which is mandatory, is work experience. Um, so your first year, you would do more industry-related work experience in a forensic setting or in a scientific setting and that would be 50 days per your first year. In your second year, you are expected to do 37 hours and above. This is a highly academic course, so as well as gaining five GCSEs at grade four and above, we would expect those to include maths, English and science. Most of the course is built upon scientific principles. Um, which also include the application of maths. And of course, as well as the practical element, you are required to write at a very high level with your English skills. 
For more information, please visit our website.